hello viewers welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how to set up your web feed pro app so if you have a web feed pro smartwatch today i'm going to guide you and show you guys how to set it up how to connect it to your phone so here is the instruction first if you have an iphone you have to go to your apple store if you have an android i'm doing this video with my android so i have to go to my google play store so and search for web fit pro so here's the app so you can see that the app have a lot of bad reviews but just because some people they don't know how to set it up so i'm going to show you guys some people say that you can disconnect after connecting some people don't know how to set it up so i have to first install it so after installing the app the next thing is to register and sign up on the app so probably you have to have your data on or connect your phone to your wi-fi and then click on open after downloading click on open so you have to wait for it to load then you have to tap on this agree here here is the uh the agreement and the privacy policy so probably you have to agree after reading all this whole thing you have to agree so after agreeing on the on the privacy policy the next thing is to so you can see some of these advertisements may pop up because your data is on so you have to tap back and then click on allow tap on allow and then allow your location so allow the app to use your location and then tap on this confirm here so confirm the statement then you have to uh click right here to register mm -hmm. but you have already registered you can easily put your email address and your password so first i have to tap on this to register this icon here register so you have to input your email address so you have to input your email address so let me choose one of my email address okay let me choose this one so i have to tap on i have to tap on this icon here send verification code tap on it they will send a verification code to your email address so you have to minimize the app then go to your email So you have to reload it. Right? So as you can see, here is the the verification code. So I have to copy it. I have to copy it, and then go back to the app and paste it there. So after pasting it, you have to click on this, mark on it, then click on this next step then not now then um input a password So the registration now is probably successful so open permissions you can easily enable message and push uh -huh. so you can tap here turn on you can easily go and enable the web feed so here is the app you can enable it and then you can also enable this uh -huh. or you just click on cancel right here to cancel it then here is the the dashboard of the app so when you tap right here this device icon here device then you will see this add device tap on the add device click on allow allow 
then it will start searching for your smartwatch so you have to make sure that your smartwatch is on and then tap on the smartwatch when the app find it so your bluetooth have to be on if it is on iphone you have to make sure that you on your bluetooth so you make sure you on your bluetooth so that you will connect because the connection is via bluetooth so you have connected now successfully so you click on here carry out so i know click on i know mm -hmm. so you can see the percentage of the battery of the smartwatch and from here you can easily be able to so add advertisement is displaying so you can easily be able to add more wallpapers from here and you can buy some wallpapers right from here but let me go and show you guys the main things that you need to set on the smartwatch app so click here right here to enable the notifications so click on allow so tap on it again when you tap on it again you can easily be able to enable the, the notifications and then enable call enable call then enable um, SMSs if you like you can enable SMSs tap on allow you can also enable whatsapp if you like you can enable instagram you can enable twitter you can enable tiktok you can enable facebook so you can be able to receive notifications of any of these apps that you want on your phone if you like you can also disable um, some of it and have some on those ones that are important to you then go back tap on back to go back so here is your health reminder so you can set that too and from here you can easily be able to remotely control your phone camera by clicking on this you give it the permission to be able to remotely control your phone camera so tap on it again so you can see you can easily be able to remotely control your phone camera for you to stay connected you have to just minimize the app and the watch and the phone will be connected and one thing i want to show you guys next is to be able to connect the music to play music to remotely control your your music with the with the watch and also to be able to make calls so you have to long press or go to your bluetooth you can go to your bluetooth you can go to settings go to um bluetooth tap on bluetooth so you have to tap on this uh this um after getting the device you have to tap on it and then you have to click on this allow access to your contacts then click on pair so I see pair now is active is showing active so from for it being active now probably you can easily be able to play music from your smartwatch let me play music so that you can see it so you can see that I can play music right now from the smartwatch so is the smartwatch playing music now So it's the smartwatch playing music now. So you can go back to the app. You can see that it's connected right now. When your smartwatch, when this app is giving you problem trying to connect to your phone, the best way to solve the issue is to restart your phone or turn on turf, turn off your phone and turn it on back so that your phone will reset. So that your phone will restart i mean you can also click here to find your device and click here and add your favorite contact by tapping on it you can be able to click on this icon here to add your favorite contacts so you can easily do that 
after that you just click on export you will export the contact to your watch and then from here you can easily be able to delete the current device from here you can do factory reset from here you can do factory reset so cancel so you can easily do factory reset by clicking here and from here you can also do upgrade the wash but your your data have to be on or your wi-fi have to be connected so here is the wallet you can link any of these payment um site so so probably from here also you can change the wallpaper if you want to customize and put your own picture uh, to use your picture as the wallpaper of the watch you can easily tap here tap on this edit button here to edit so you can tap here you can take your own picture let me select this so you just tap here click on apply then you set the size then click on here then click on installation immediately tap on the installation you start installing so and you have to wait for it to complete the installation before the watch will come back on so this is it thank you for watching and <coughs> subscribe to my channel like the video if you find the video helpful and share to your friends Thank you for watching. Bye.